Pastor Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are doing well tonight. It is going real slow. So let me see if you guys are on here. And I don't see anyone. Let me see. Y'all know I don't get on here this late. So just want to shoot in and shoot out. Technically. Okay, let me turn this off right here. Somehow. All right, I don't see anyone, so I'm just going to wait until they show me if you guys are coming up on here. All right, so I'm just going to go with it because that's, hey, that's a few of y'all, right? All right, the rest are coming in if they come in. All right, so basically, if you see the title, it says, Stop Trying to Hang People, Haman. I know you hung them gallows. You had them hung for Mordecai. But by next week, Haman, you're going to be hanging from them. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God told me to tell you, quit trying to set up people. Mm, hold on. Y'all ain't ready. God told me to tell you, quit trying to hang people. Quit trying to, you, you know, somebody don't like or, or this or that. The same applies for you that applied for Haman. In the book of Esther, Haman, he, had, he really had it made. He was in a top position. But it was something about Mordecai he didn't like because Mordecai was a man of God. Because Mordecai didn't bow down to him. So every time they saw each other, Haman would make everybody bow. But Mordecai refused to bow because Mordecai can see through Haman. Them people don't like you that see through that you can see through them, huh? Or they don't like you when you see through them. You, you, Y'all know what I'm talking about. God wanted me to tell you to be encouraged, Mordecai. Because the same gallows that they hang for you, the same attacks, the same lies, the same whatever, by this week, this time next week, they'll be hung by their own lies, their own deception, whatever they're trying to do. Stop being moved by what you see and don't see. Stop being moved by what you hear and don't hear. Stop being moved by people. Actions, God says. He says, stay focused in this hour. Come on, somebody. It is so important to stay focused on this hour. And I got a few details I want to talk to y'all about. You see, you can't reply to everything God says. You have to rejoice. Don't repeat what the enemy says. The enemy will help you repeat the same thing. Even if something bad happened over and over because he's trying to torture you. He's trying to he's trying to get you to get out of faith and, and to lose your happiness. You, you know what happened? You know why, why it says happiness? Something has to happen for you to be happy. But instead he says, don't repeat what the enemy said. Rejoice to what is coming. I've anointed you. I've appointed you. I got you. And you have to understand everybody in the Bible was tested. You will be tested because the Bible says, he says, but endure hardness as a good soldier. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I also wrote this as well. Most people are called to a building, a church. Well, I'm, about to, I'm, about to, I'm about to clarify some things because we need clarification. I kept trying to build a church. I built, tried to do it in Atlanta. I tried to do it in Abbeville. I tried to do it um, in, in Sacramento. It would never prosper. So finally, I said, God, I don't understand what's going on. He said, Deanna. And so y'all need to get this. Y'all need to y'all need to tag and share because a lot of people now don't preach this. And I might just come back on it and, and no, no, I'm not. <laughs> there, most people are called to a building, a church. That's your pastors, your preachers. But here's the deal. What comes with that? They're under 501 c3 they can't talk about homosexuality they can't they can't talk about a lot of stuff as a matter of fact most of them under the fema contract you're gonna find that out later when new world order and martial law take place so some people are called to the church and others are called to a building of the church apostle diana is called to the church that means this is what i do come on somebody come on somebody and i ain't for everybody but 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 i i, I i'm i'm non-restricted i can talk about homosexuality and say that you're nasty and you need to stop playing it censor me whatever so some people are called to a church and some people are called to the church still same calling some are called to a building and some are called to the people of god not to say that everybody's not called to the people of god but but the two are happenstance they're not the same come on somebody hallelujah also i don't know why god is making me make these three valid points Oh, Lord, it's going to be deep, y'all. That's good. This is good. A lot of you are in bad marriages, God says. And you want to stay in the marriages because you feel like this. If my marriage fell, then my ministry fall. Somebody repeat that. If my marriage fell, 
in my ministry for. That is not of God. God will never send you something that tears you down. Because some of you are trying to, here's what's happening. Your ministry is already falling because of the foolishness that you're putting up with at home. And don't think people don't see just because they don't say nothing. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, we all see. But you're not ready to deal with it. You're not ready. You're not ready, God says. He said, but, 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 but be encouraged. He said, be encouraged because you come out that thing. Prophecy for 2021. Everything that is hidden should be unhidden, God says. In this next phase, he said, we all getting looked at. I'm telling you what God said. Me, you, and a dog named Boo. Even a dog's getting. Y'all understand what time it is. And I'm so serious. If you don't see everything's coming out. If you are going through a test and a trial. It's not to break you, but it's up to build you up. In this last hour, God don't care about your money, honey. God don't care about your status, with your cause, and your this and your that. God is telling us, I'm getting ready to come. And I want to know where you at. Who you with? You with them or you with him? You with Jesus Christ of Nazareth or you with the world? Because this is what's happening. Everybody mixing a little this and a little that. And don't know where you at. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It is time, God says, to choose this day who you're going to serve. Because you can't keep dipping and slipping. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to say it again. You can't keep dipping and slipping. You can't keep doing that. God is not allowing it in this season. Everybody's getting exposed. Even the thugs in the street. Hello. Y'all really don't see what's going on, huh? God is allowing. And I, and I don't know why he's incorporating that, but I'm going with the Holy Spirit. God is allowing that stuff to happen even in the streets because God was trying to show y'all y'all want to be a famous and huh? y'all want to be a rapper look what they doing to y'all making y'all kill each other look what they doing to y'all 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 selling y'all souls look what they doing to y'all playing y'all against each other oh I'm about to say something that I ain't never said on here I've told other people but I ain't never said nothing so let me give you a revelation gang members some of those hits are policemen Y'all ain't ready for me for real. Y'all wonder why they after me and why they don't like me. Because I tell the truth because I'm telling you what I see in the spirit. They use those as opportune times for hits. And, and y'all mad at each other. And they just throwing them bones. And y'all like dogs. I say like. I ain't calling nobody no dog. Just like in the church. Got everybody against everybody. Oh, oh, oh Satan slick. He's slick. He, 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 the Bible says he's cunning. You know what cunning means? It's chess. It ain't checkers. That's what cunning means. He got everybody. He, he got the church playing themselves. And he got the street playing themselves. Everybody playing themselves. Everybody against this one. That one against that one. We don't even see the real enemy. And he's sitting back laughing. He laughing. I'm going to say it again. He laughing. Because we don't know who we are. You are a raw priesthood. You don't act like that. You don't walk like that. You don't talk like that. You know how many people did me stuff for real, for real? Well, I could have got out of character and I wanted to get out of character. And God said, that's not who I called you to be, apostle. So I had to get myself in line. You know what? I repent, God, you're right. I'm going to let you deal with that. I'm going somewhere. Oh, Lord, hallelujah, I feel the power of God. Stop being street in the church. Stop being hood in the church. Stop being ghetto in the church. Stop being a thug in the church. We don't need that. We, we did that out there. That's why they, they lost in the street. Because the church is acting like that now. You know what we need, church? Real power. Real anointings. Hallelujah. Real authenticity. Real living it. And not just in front of the people. Hallelujah. And, and you, you tore it from the floor behind in your personal life. Public success, but a private failure. And God is getting ready to expose that too. And hold on. Everything I tell y'all is for me too. We can't keep just doing what we've been doing. It's not working for nobody. Not the church and not outside the church. Hallelujah. Y'all know it's true. Come on, somebody. Let's talk for real up in here. We got to do better. All of us. Because they see y'all worshiping. Hollywood people and everything else. So now nah, they're running after them. People are dying. And y'all can say what y'all want. It's the church fault. God said, I give you 
dominion. He didn't give them nothing. He gave us dominion. So why are they dying if we have dominion? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Start drawing bloodlines over your cities, your states. I just got through praying with my armor bearer. It's time. Let me tell y'all something. And I'm going to get up off, off of here. And people didn't understand. The reason why I walked away from Chef D was not just because this wasn't right or that wasn't right, which is true. I heard God say, I need you in this hour. And I need you who I called you to be. Apostle Deanna Dixon. I don't care who questioned it, what they say, what they think. I know what I put in you. I know the anointing over your life. I need you in this hour. That was your passion. He said, don't let your passion let you miss your purpose. Mm, I just hit about half of y'all because I'm a forerunner. Every time God do something to me, it's a trend. But it's not just a trend. It's the truth. How many of y'all running after entrepreneurship? And I, I did it too. Come on, somebody. Businesses, everything. When I read the book of Acts, it was actually the opposite. They loved everything and followed Jesus. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Not ours because we're not right. And then everything should be added to you. He said, and then everything should be added to you. He said, and then everything should be added to you. Hallelujah. It's just, it's just time. It's just time. Time out for playing. Time out for strain. Just time out. Because I'm telling you, that cover is, is uncovered. I heard God say this. Judgment begins in the house of God. Why do you think everybody getting exposed right now? And I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Ladies, most of y'all follow these men on here because they fine. I, I'm so sick of y'all. I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I don't care. Men, y'all do the same thing. Y'all don't follow who's anointed. Y'all follow, follow who fine. Who got a little money or, 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 or they got a big ministry or small men. Yeah. The spirit of Baal in the church. Anointed people, and I'm putting myself in there. Y'all look at us like we're crazy. Why that may be true. Because I sure can stamp it. I'll be what you want me to be. How you want me to be do this? <laughs> I know I don't care, right? I'm going to keep it 100 though. I'm not going to lie about nothing, even about myself. If I'm, when I came out and say, you know, for the last two years, I've really been just, I cried for, I don't know how many days, four or five days, I repented to God. I was like, how could I allow myself to, you know what he told me? He said, but I had to let you go on that journey. He said, because now you're going to do what I asked you to do with a whole heart. You don't hear what I'm saying. I ain't worried about Chef Didi now no more. So that y'all going to get that real stuff, not for real, like I used to be. Hallelujah. The enemy got us chasing other stuff. It looks shiny. It looks glamour. It looks it looks good, huh? But your real purpose is what you were truly called to do. Because what will stand? What will stand but your purpose in life? Your destiny from God. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave you with this. Jesus was a carpenter. When it was time, didn't he leave carpet work alone? Didn't he just focus on what God told him to do? His original? <laughs> Most of you are chasing jobs and then ain't even your then even you you wondering why it's not it's working a little bit. But you're not happy and I know you're not. You're not happy. As a matter of fact, let me tell y'all this. <laughs> get, I keep saying get up off here. So here I am trying to be Chef Didi, right? And I'm gonna be me and I'll be just when I really sat down and added, I made more money in the kingdom of God. And it ain't about money. God said, I always blessed you more. He said, but you had let people think that you can get more this way. I just said something. Because we all, we all, we don't want to be, we don't want to be doing all that, right? So, God, my gift will make room for me. I think we twist that, that scripture. What gift? <laughs> because the world will make you think it's this gift when it was that all along. Who God truly called you to be. And I'm not just saying that. I'm a testimony. And I pray that y'all catch it. Because people are missing it. You wonder why you're sick and tired. I'm going to tell it all. My body was getting tired anyway. I could I could barely stand up those hours. I, I could probably stand for those hours. before I was hurting. I just didn't tell nobody because, you know, I enjoy cooking. But my body was, eh, but I'm smiling and, and fronting, smiling. And so when I say it was a big weight lifted off of me, it literally was. Trying to be this when I'm there. Mm. 
Hallelujah to his name. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Let me pray for everybody. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare, Father God, that we will come back to you again with a full heart, a full purpose, a full mind to serve you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare to be so, Father God. Father God, I pray over all the, the world, Father God, every city, every state, every town, every country, Father God. I pray for the spirit of anger and rage and murder. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and I sever your cards in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. I sever them in the spirit to the root of that thing. You're going to stop killing our children. You're going to stop killing our men. You're going to stop killing the women. You're going to stop killing. Hallelujah. It is time for the church to decree and declare, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, for I've given you dominion. Luke 10, 19, you have all authority. Use your authority, said the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare it to be so. I plead the blood of Jesus. I say it's the blood of Jesus that comes against you, Satan. It's the blood of Jesus that comes against you, Satan. It's the blood of Jesus that comes against you, Satan. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare it to be so. And I plead the blood of Jesus over every last one of you. May you prosper in his ways. May God protect you and keep you. Hallelujah. May the anointing of God fall on you like never before. May you be a true man and woman of God. May every hindering spirit cease in the name of Jesus. I terminate every assignment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare it to be so. Hallelujah to his name. I decree and declare it. Hallelujah. As a servant of the living God. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name, let us say amen, amen, and amen. I said this prayer will not be hindered, stopped, or blocked, but will accomplish what it was sent out to do in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Amen, amen, amen. I noticed something. When I started praying, the count went down. The witches and warlocks had to get off of here. And I'm not an arrogant type person. I think y'all know that I wouldn't be so raw and uncut. Because arrogant people, they have to watch what they say, what they do, how they look, whatever. The power, God has given it to you. They can't stand. It's time for this power to come back in the churches, in your homes, in your cars, on your jobs. It's time to back them up. I'm sick of it. There's no way they're supposed to be winning like this. It's no way they're supposed to be killing. It's no way. Hallelujah. The same power that God left with the apostles. The same power that's inside of us. Don't you know that, said the Lord? But now here's the deal. You can't touch the unclean thing. And I've been guilty too, so don't worry about it. We only human. But after you have done that thing, hallelujah, God says, come back to your first love. Come back to your first love so I can anoint you again, appoint you again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is real. This ain't no game. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Hmm. Real life soldiers, for that is truly who we are. Act like it, walk like it, talk like it, be like it. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Hallelujah. Love you guys.